I'm currently vlogging on my phone because I didn't bring my vlog camera with me, but we actually are at uh, Fry's right now getting more Halo Top. And I'm pretty sure that they have the ones that they said because like I looked it up ahead of time. So fingers crossed. Okay, I see some of the flavors. Well, we're gonna look now. This is what the case display looks like. It's all fr frostbitten. We're gonna try that tonight. So we're getting some. Okay, so Kaylee and I are currently looking for the last one. We're like the dairy-free Halo Top and then the dairy-free chocolate covered banana and then also cinnamon roll. So. Hey guys, it's me Sydney and I'm back with another video for fitness and today we're gonna be doing Halo Top dairy-free versus dairy and they're both the same flavor so we're gonna talk about our honest opinions. She's never had Halo Top in her life. I live off of Halo Top so it's like two different ways of thinking about it you know so if you've never tried halo top you know someone who hasn't is right here and then i love halo top and i feel like it really helps me hit my goals they came out the cinnamon roll flavor in both dairy free and dairy this is dairy free this is dairy both of them have 360 calories per pint um in comparison 90 calories per serving uh this is made with coconut milk and um i've been told it has a little bit of a coconutty flavor but i'll tell you guys it's also soy free and vegan um, the comparison though is the carbs for this is one lower and the protein for this is two grams lower per serving whereas this one has one gram less of fat and that's where the calories equal out so this has a little less fat this has a little less carbs but um, also less protein so with that being said we are going to uh, check them out also just a little bit of a disclaimer we did thaw these out ahead of time so they're gonna be pretty equal these do have chunks so i'm gonna open it and show you what each one looks like so we're gonna start with the one that is not that has dairy in it so when you open it up it has the chunks of cinnamon like the swirls i want you guys to be able to see this like it has swirls in it katie what's your first reaction when you see this doesn't it look good one serving of ben and jerry's in one of these pints would be equal to the entire pint. That's another thing I, I want to point out. So let's um, try that out. So that's what that one looks like. Then the dairy free one has a different consistency. It looks. Okay, Katie. <laughs> Katie's trying to show it. So this is the one that's dairy free. It looks much more smooth, has different texture. It has, looks like that's it has chunks in it. Different. That's a different yeah, color, too. Yeah, like different colors. Like you can see which one's dairy free and which one's not. This one's not dairy free. This one is dairy free, so they're very different looking. We're gonna try the uh, the one with dairy first because I feel like that's the one that most people go for. I, I got a big bite. I want some cinnamon though. It's so good. Holy crap. It tastes like a cinnamon roll. It tastes just like a cinnamon roll, you guys. It tastes like the icing. That's so good though. I'm just gonna see if there's any other chunks in here that I didn't get. That was like, definitely. What were those chunks? Do you think they were like the cinnamon chunks or like doughy chunks? They tasted more doughy to me. Yeah, but I like it. It's like cookie dough. I know. Mm. Ooh, I would eat this actually. Mm -hmm. mm. I give this a 10 out of 10 in general. I would totally eat it. This one we're keeping in mind is dairy free but we're gonna have it to the same standards. The texture of that one is amazing. Now we're gonna like cleanse our palate for a second. This one has coconut milk? Yeah. Uh-uh. No, no, that's not good. Mm -mm. No. Okay, well, <laughs> it's very, the texture. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. That one tastes like, the one that dairy, has dairy tastes like sex. This one tastes like, I'm sorry people who have like dairy free. This I, one just, that one, okay, like the texture is very, um, like you know, like foamy. I like that. I like the texture. You like the texture? Do mm -hmm. you like the taste? Me personally, I, I'm okay with the texture. The taste itself, you can tell that it doesn't taste like cinnamon to me, honestly. Mm -mm. It doesn't really taste like the flavor. There's no swirl in it either. There's no like chunks, there's no cinnamon. Mm, there's a little chunk. Is there? I got no chunk and I just got all like the cream, I guess. I did taste coconut, but that was not good. Um, there's definitely not as many. 
There's a few little chunks and there's a little swirl right here, but not a lot. There's a chunk right there. That definitely does not taste good. Like, I can see where they're trying, you can taste mm -hmm. where they're trying to make it taste like it has cinnamon milk. Like, this one tastes like it has, that sounded weird. Like, it, this one, they're, they're trying to make it taste like it has the cinnamon and then like the actual doughy kind of tape flavor. Uh -huh. The other one nailed it. This one, I don't think it worked out great. I, I mean, like, it looks like you like it. Well, do you like it? You didn't really give your review on it. Well, I'm trying to figure out how I feel because here's the thing. If you are vegan and you eat vegan ice cream, you guys know it tastes very different and it's usually higher in carbs. Whereas this one, I feel like they did hit it on the money when it comes down to the fact that, oh, I found a swirl, I found a big swirl, but there's not a lot. I feel like they kind of had to compensate for the fact that this is higher in carbs so they couldn't put as much in it. But I feel like they would have put more. That tasted much better with it in there, but. With more of like a cinnamon swirl? Yeah, but I'm more so, yeah, here's a cinnamon swirl, try that. The cinnamon swirl part I think is really good. Helps. That's that definitely really, helped. Yeah. But, but the, that still doesn't taste good. I, I think mean, the cream overall doesn't taste as good. I think the base itself, you can tell it's coconut. But the main thing is they don't even have enough swirls to like make it the same as the other one. And I feel like they're compensating maybe for like the actual lack of it. But I'm not a huge like dairy free person in general. I do eat dairy. I don't eat a lot of it, I don't really drink milk or anything, and I have almond milk. But this, I think would hit, hit it if I were dairy free. Cause I've had, I've had pretty bad ice cream, but I've okay. also, you have to realize like that's dairy free. And then you tell my viewers what you think, cause you're vegan. And it's Halo Top, have you had Halo Top? Never had Halo they came, Top. They just came out with a vegan dairy free, soy free like. Well this is good. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Our reaction was completely. Like, no, I just like ate a few yeah. bites of it, and I was just like not sure how I felt, and she was like automatically hated it. I like took a bite. Salmon now. roll. I like that. You can keep it. He likes it. Okay, so if you had to rate it out of like ice cream that you've had before, that's of all vegan, vegan ice cream I've had, this is the best. Oh, um, dang. I, I've had better normal ice cream before, right. so this is probably an eight. Hey! Alright guys, that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. Um, besides that, thanks Katie for trying some cinnamon roll halo top with me. I hope you guys are having an amazing fitness, and I hope you guys like these videos. If you guys have any requests, this one was highly requested, so I figured I would do it. But, comment down below your requests. And, um, with that being said, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes!